Hey everyone, do we have a snowflake for you today? Hey, it's me! I'm hiding inside Undoomed! There's loads of room in here, but don't tell him, okay? So take it away, fuckhead. Okay, so I had originally... Are you adjusting the stick that's up your ass? Not wanted to do this. Well, if you didn't want to do it, and you're being made to do it, that's rape! But... Oh, sorry, that's butt rape! I am going crazy. So I'd like to tell you guys a little story. All about how your life got flipped turned upside down? I went to Starbucks the other day because caffeine's the lifeblood and or crack of college students. College student on my channel. There's a college student on my channel. Place your bets now. Sociology, gender studies, or anthropology. Sociology, gender studies, or anthropology. Place your bets now and spin the wheel. So I was at Starbucks in line, you know, whatever. And there was a woman with a small child. It was a little boy. The misogynistic little fuck. And I bet he was breastfed. That's sexual harassment on his own mother. And he was fussing about something, I wasn't really paying attention, but he started crying. And the mom was getting really testy with the kid. Hehehe, <laughs> testy. And he was getting more upset. And she looks at him and she says, Why are you crying? Only girls cry. So you saw a mother tell off her child in public. No worries, it happens. I mean, it was designed for the little boy, so anyone else getting upset by it would have to be a bit oversensitive, wouldn't they? That kid's gonna have a complex. Really? Because my mum said that shit to me and I turned out just fine kill all the white people. For some reason, emotions are considered negative, um, and weak, and therefore... Displaying oodles and oodles of them might be considered a vulnerability? Only girls cry. Obviously. Because only girls... are weak. Definitely not! Some of the strongest people I know are women. My mate's mum's a shoplifter. Think how strong you have to be to do something like that. But no, it really comes down to people getting embarrassed when someone else is bawling their eyes out in public. Emotions aren't weak, but being over-emotional is a hazard. But it's become so invasive in our culture, and we're still teaching these things to our children. And this brings me to... Oh, good. She has paperwork. My sociology project. Sociology! That's sociology! Take your tickets to the front to claim your prize! Um, we're focusing on discrimination based on gender and race. Is it me, or is that the subject every fucking term? It's like they come in on the first day of school, eagerly asking what they'll be studying, and the teacher's like, monster hungover. They've got their head down on the desk, and they just point to a globe and say, I don't know, pick a fucking minority. I mean, I could do that job. And so, obviously, I gave out, I designed some questionnaires to give out. Um, on campus. Oh, she's a popular girl then. Everyone loves someone with a survey, don't they? Excuse me, sir, can I ask you a few questions? Fuck off, I need a shit. Everyone loves them. And so I surveyed a class, an English class. Well, it could have been middle class, so I'm glad she clarified. And... And? It's shocking. Shocking! Um, how many people think sexism isn't a problem? Is that because it's not a problem, or because, I don't know, it's so pervasive in our culture that we don't even realise it anymore? Because it's so pervasive in our culture, we don't even realise it anymore. Ah, well, there we go. Gets different results than expected, so it must be down to ignorance. <laughs> I love science. A lot of the time. And I'm not angry at these people. No, of course you're not. I mean, the majority of people you surveyed just got it wrong, didn't they? That's not their fault. I'm angry at the cultural conditions that led these people to believe these things. Huh. One year of sociology and you can already tell how ignorant everyone else is. I mean, I'm assuming you're in your first year because you still look vaguely human. It gets so much worse as you go on. But you also realise that you thought you knew everything, but you actually know nothing. That's what higher education is, teaching you that you are an idiot. You won't be taking surveys on your campus next year though, love. You will have learned that much at least. Some girls say, you know, sexism isn't really a problem. I've never been discriminated against because of my gender. Well then fair play on having some level-headed friends, pigtails. I've never been murdered, but that doesn't mean that we don't have a problem with violence in our culture either. 
Well, every civilization has had violence. In fact, every civilization is built on violence. So when does violence stop being the norm and become a problem? Eh? How you like that? I didn't even take sociology. Fuck you. I sit next to this guy in one of my classes. He seemed friendly, you know. Yeah, total rapist though. Didn't say anything really awful to me or anything. He treated me well. The subject of feminism came up and I said, yeah, I'm a feminist. That's not the best way to befriend a male, I have to say. That's like asking to pet someone's dog and then it turns out you put them down for a living. And he said, really? So you hate men? And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not feminism at all. That's misandry and that's... That's what? The majority of feminism, yeah? That's completely different. Um... And he said, oh yeah, well, I'm a misogynist. <laughs> well, fair enough. He's a straight shooter, that boy. No wasting time there. So that's where the conversation ended then, yeah? You both went your separate ways? Oh no. It didn't end there, did it? Well, self-identifying as a misogynist. Well, people tend to be proud of who they are, so why not? You got your mugs full of male tears, which apparently is all good, so why can't someone do the same thing at the other end of the spectrum? Also, your hair looks like the doorway luggage goes through at the airport. And so I said, wow, um, so you hate me? And he was like, no, 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 I don't hate you. Oh, well, that's a shit, isn't it? I mean, if you're gonna be a misogynist, at least stick by your guns, you know? Fucking part-timer. Of course I don't hate you. That's like saying to an African-American person, I hate black people. Oh, no, no, but not you. Well, then I guess he's not a misogynist. Maybe he just said something stupid, as we all do from time to time, this video being testament to that. Yours and mine. If we don't speak up honestly about this stuff when it happens, it's just gonna get worse. I felt like that about hemorrhoids, but they just went away on their own. Or at least it's not going to progress at the rate that it could have. I'm actually really happy with halting the feminist agenda right now, thank you. Ideally, I'd like to take it back a couple of steps to the time when most of the population weren't retarded. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. And I think about when I was at Starbucks. Yeah, which is basically like the Middle East, right? And how maybe I should have said something, and I didn't, and that's how it starts. I'll tell you what starts when you say something. The moment you raise a fucking eyebrow at the way a mother is talking to her child, you're dead. If she sees you, you are all kinds of fucked, missus. No amount of higher education prepares you for that either. And if you actually said something, you'd be crushed into fucking baby food by now. Mothers in coffee shops and supermarkets will fuck you up. You don't have to be a raging, angry feminist. <clears throat> Hey, moron. Hey, fucking moron. How's about you tell that to the rest of them? You can just say a little something when someone says something that is ignorant or that is misinformed. Or you could, you know, not say anything and just enjoy the rest of your life. All it takes is just a simple, you know, have you really, have you really thought about it? Oh, have I really thought about it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I just say what the fuck comes to mind. Either way, I'm just gonna do it. Because that's how I roll. That is my jam. So if I don't give a fuck, that makes it your problem, not mine. Because I think, while I respect your opinion... Well, that's more than we normally get, so... Aw, she's actually really nice, isn't she? It's fucking weird. I think you might want to rethink a couple things because X, Y, Z. Z. It starts like that. You just have to open up the conversation. No, she is right. And she's a nice girl from what I've seen. Just a little bit confused. So I can't be too harsh on her. Opening conversation is great. But no one likes being given orders or being told what is an unacceptable opinion. So as long as you avoid that, I don't think you can cause too much damage. This is why we need feminism. Because of Starbucks and a guy in your sociology class. Got it. Go on, pigtails. Get out of here. Be free. And tell the others what I did for you here. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, is there life after death? Tell a mother how to raise her children and you'll find out.